Hey guys, what's going on? I'm actually sitting in the parking lot of my old gym right now. I'm not going to show you the sign just because I still have a membership here for, you know, emergencies, but for the most part, I'm not a big fan of this gym. So I'm going to head off to my apartment now, bear with me. I just want to prove to you guys how close this gym is and show you how much I really have started to value um, gym environment. So. This gym is maybe a minute drive to my apartment, but what happened was, I'm sure many of you guys have had this problem before, the manager of the gym was not a big fan of me deadlifting, and that's obviously a major problem, being someone that likes to do the big three movements, so that eliminates one third of it right there. And what happened was, I was going for not a max set, but a pretty heavy set. And I could tell he was just sitting there staring at me, but he wasn't saying anything. So I just kept going. I kind of waited for him to walk away. And then I start going for my next set and I look up and this guy is standing right in front of my face. And I was just like, what in the world is going on? So obviously I dropped the weight and he tells me, you know, I'm being too loud, whatever. But who in the world steps right in front of someone as they're deadlifting relatively heavy to their one rep max? I mean, as a gym manager, I just thought that was asinine. So obviously, like I said, I'm not a fan of that gym whatsoever. And it just goes to show what I've been kind of telling you guys in previous videos of how much I really do appreciate a gym environment going to this new gym even though it's 15-20 minutes away it's definitely worth it in my opinion it's been able it's allowed me to you know make progress that I definitely wouldn't have been able to make there and I actually ended up tweaking something in my back when he did that so I don't you know I don't want to make excuses for my actions I might have been using poor form or whatever but that was just one of the worst experiences I've ever had the gym so I just want to share that with you guys and I'm actually pulling up into my apartment right now so as you can see I uh, I had much a much shorter drive but you know that's okay it's definitely worth it to me to just drive a little bit of distance and get an environment where it's actually supportive and conducive to heavy lifting so I'll see you guys in the next video hey what's up everyone I'm gonna combine the last three days of week three into this one video just because I know it's getting repetitive and I don't want to bore you guys too much but I did want to pick up where I left off last week talking about gym environment and as I mentioned when you see me in this back section of the gym with the bumper plates I'm actually in the CrossFit section and to be honest I was a little intimidated when I first joined this gym to even go back there you know deadlifting and squatting relatively heavier weight than what everyone else was doing with their CrossFit movements I wasn't sure wasn't exactly sure how I'd be accepted but everyone was really nice back here I've made a lot of cool friends so I was very fortunate for that but one of the things that I never really thought about was how important your gym environment is. So before joining this gym, the only thing I really considered when picking a gym was location. I just wanted something that was convenient and I was of the mindset that I could have a good workout anywhere. And for the most part that is true. I've been a member of so many different gyms. I don't know if you guys heard of you guys have heard of like Anytime Fitness. Um, I'm sure a lot of you know of LA Fitness, Urban Active college gyms, the YMCA, you name it, I've probably been a part of it. And, you know, for the most part, everything worked out pretty well, except for that gym I showed you in the first clip where they just did not like me deadlifting. So I knew right then that that was not a gym that I could be a part of. So thankfully, I found this gym, which is about 15 minutes away from my apartment, and I can honestly say that it is the best gym I've ever been a part of by a long shot, no comparison, and what it really starts with is the owners. So the two people that own it are husband and wife. They used to compete. I don't know what they used to compete in. I think bodybuilding, but I don't really know for sure, but they are awesome, and they make this gym what it is. Um... This is one of the very few gyms I've heard of. If enough members request something, they actually go out and buy it for them. So all, like, if we get a new piece of machinery or a new piece of equipment, it's because a lot of the members say, hey, we want this, we could use it, and they go get it for us. I mean, 
I've never heard of that before. The two are really awesome. I mean, they're always there. They work their butts off. So I think that's what really makes this gym what it is. But another thing is, is the people that go to this gym. I don't know how they do their recruiting for these members, but it's like the no jerks allowed club in this gym. I swear. I mean, everyone is super nice and they're very supportive. You'll notice that when you see me working out, there's not a lot of people here, and that's for a reason. <laughs> I try to pick a time when I know the gym's going to be empty, and still being a student, I have that luxury, so I found a sweet spot. It's like 9.30 a.m., because you're either at work or out doing whatever, but you're not at the gym at 9.30 a.m., so that's the time that I like to go, and I even like to make sure that I get the same rack, but you know that's just me being very particular and anal about things, <laughs> but... That's just one of the things that I've really noticed, and between the members and the owners, I mean, this gym has really made a world of difference to me, and I didn't think that it made that much of a difference, you know, what environment was around you, but it really does. I mean, I found myself getting more mentally amped and ready to go for these sets than I ever have before in my life. So, if you guys have the opportunity to pick a new gym, and you can afford it or it's in your way or whatever I mean go for it guys because even if it's a little more inconvenient or it's a little more expensive I'm telling you it's gonna be worth it the feeling that I get going to this gym I mean if you're like me and you just love being in the gym anyway you never want to leave at least that's how I am and now like coming here I could literally spend all day here I mean, if I didn't have life obligations, I really think that I would just sit there all day and hang out and talk to the people. But that's just my opinion, so I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. If you guys have had that experience or if you guys just don't care. I mean, because that, like I said, that's how I was for the longest time where I was just like, you know, I would go to LA Fitness and in my head it was just a hardcore gym because I was just in my own zone. And I think that is a good quality to have. I think being able to create your own gym atmosphere just in case you don't have this kind of opportunity is important. But if you do, I'm highly recommending it, guys.